Hello, this is Scott, and I'm going to be demonstrating a simple messaging uh, application that I created in x86 64-bit assembly. Uh, this will be for Linux. As you can see, I am running Windows Subsystem for Linux. And as you can see, I have VS Code open. And on the left side, I have the server. And on the right side, I have the client. And this uses uh, NASM assembly, so it's a little different than MASM assembly if you're used to that. Uh, but that's because this is a Linux only build. If you have uh, any sort of Linux distribution, you should be able to uh, clone the code in the GitHub repository that I link in the description, and you'll be able to build this for yourself. Uh, so, a brief overview this is a multi threaded application. Uh, as you can see over here, I call uh, pthread, um, and this simply just links against uh, the standard library that Linux provides, and that will run this in the background, this std and listener routine, and that simply just listens for your input and then goes ahead and sends out um, on the socket uh, whatever you type into standard input. And then that's also the same thing on the client over here. And on the main thread, you're just simply on the server side, you're listening for a connection and then maintaining that connection. And on the client, uh, similarly, you connect to the server and then you maintain the connection. So to make uh, this program, it's very simple. All you have to do is make a server for the server side and make client for the client side. Notice that there is a prototype.c file. Um, this is just so I could understand what the assembly would look like. But notice in the output that this file is not being compiled. It is only the assembly. And if you don't believe me, you can go ahead and delete the prototype.c file and assemble it for yourself. Then to run it, it's simply make run server. And on the client, make run client. As you can see, it says it's connected. And on the server, I can send a quick message. And as you can see on the client, I received it on this date. And I can send a message back from the client to the server. And you can simply escape, and that'll close the program.